Hello everyone, this is Nancy from Japan Galaxy Summary of Big Live on April 27. Number 1. The day before the April 19 VOA cut-off incident, on April 18, 2017, the Pacific Alliance Group, under the direction of the Chinese Communist Party, Mr. Mao's school was persecuted for false accusation. Number 2. Douyin News alleged counterfeit lawsuits turned into a criminal case. 1. GTV took CGI and Douyin News to court on May 24, 2021, demanding information about the leaker from both parties, with CGI being vague and Douyin News refusing to respond. 2. After judge Barry Ostrager twice denied GTV's request for litigation, GTV went to New York Court of Appeals to appeal the case which is scheduled to be heard on April 28, 2022. If Dubin News refuses to appear in court, the court will automatically rule in favor of GTV. 3. This means that Pacific Alliance Group, Dubin News, and CGI are suspected of counterfeiting, which is a felony. The case will be turned into a criminal case, and anyone associated with the case will face criminal investigation. Number 3. Dove News is the largest overseas intelligence website of the Chinese Communist Party, founded by CCP spy Ho Ping in 1999, and transferred to another spy, Yu Penghai, in 2009. Number 4. The CCP monopolized land, was the sole supplier of Chinese land, and raised land prices and real estate prices by monopolizing the market. An average tenfold increase in real estate prices in Communist China over the 20-year period from 2001 to 2021. Number 5. The CCP kleptocrats are using the inflated real estate and the false economic growth caused by real estate to transfer assets abroad and keep equity and debt at home by means of equity and collateralized debt. By the end of 2021, the macro leverage ratio in the communist China was 263.8%. The real estate industry alone has a debt balance of nearly 90 trillion RMB.